Oh, hey guys. It's Steve, as always. I just got in from a run, and uh, I'm gonna clean up my face a little bit because I look gross. Also, what's gonna be fun is the stash is staying for quarantine. You're welcome. So let's get into it, yeah? Also, have fun watching me shave. I figure this is something you want. If you don't want it, don't watch it. That looks good. Well, that's step one. Gotta get rid of all the excess crap before you wash your face and then put on you know, some shaving cream and get to the close work, the detailed work, the razor work. For that, you gotta pop the top, right? So for this, I'm using Triumph and Disaster, their facial cleanser. Ooh. Shout out to the guys at Ethos for giving me this. Just a little. All right, now for some shaving cream. So the thing is about shaving cream, there's a couple different versions, right? You have like shaving soap, shaving foam, shaving gel, shaving cream. It really all kind of depends on your skin type. Like if you have drier skin, you know, the shaving oil or the, the shaving cream is probably best. But if you're pretty oily, then maybe like the shaving soap would be better, just in general. I was talking to Hassan, at Ethos and he was giving me a lowdown and apparently there is a bit of a difference but it's mostly trial and error. It's all personal preference on what you like. I go with a shaving cream by uh, actually a Vino because it is super hydrating and my skin's super dry. I don't know why I'm keeping this stupid goatee but it looks hilarious so why not use it, you know? I mean, I'm definitely gonna get rid of it by the end here, but for the sake of content, why not? Let's get this extra hot water going. I'm trying to open up them pores. Yo, the bags under my eyes, man, they're huge. I did not sleep well last night. You know, the key, and we're gonna put this in a different video, but you can have it right now. The key to losing the bags under your eyes is sleep and drinking a lot of water. I have not been doing either of those things. Drinking a lot of coffee and staying up really late. And I should probably stop doing that. But, uh, all right, here we go. Normally they say, you know, go with the grain first, right? And then go do a second pass and go, you know, diagonally or perpendicularly to the grain and then maybe even after that, go against. I always find that I get lazy. Just go with and then against right away. But for the sake of you guys, we're gonna do it the right way. And I'll let you know if it really works. Cause I haven't done it in a while. Also, does anyone else ever just like nick the crap out of their Adam's apple like every time? If I don't do it, I give myself a treat. What that treat is, is usually in the form, oh man, I forgot I was gonna keep that. I just started going for it. I will keep it a little bit. It'll look really creepy. Everyone's gonna hate that. Good thing I don't see anybody anymore. As in like, social quarantining. Or physical distancing, guys. Welcome to Steve Talks to himself. <laughs> We're not socially distancing. I think that's actually a really good point. Whoever decided it was like, yo, we're not socially distancing, we're physically distancing. They were smart about it. Cause as social creatures, I think it's pretty impossible for us to not go insane while we phys or socially distance. Physically distance also sucks, but much less than socially distancing ourselves. One last little lap on the with the grain section here. Now, we're gonna do the diagonal stuff. 
That sounds great, right? I knew you'd like that. What's weird is I'm left-handed, so this side should be a lot easier to do. But I find myself struggling quite a bit when I use my left hand towards my face. Like I brush my teeth right-handed, and when I try to do it left-handed, it really doesn't feel good. Very odd. You need to know that. All right, now we're going perpendicular to the grain. I'm kind of going against it. I don't mean to, it's just the spot. Oh God, did I nick it? I kind of did. Did also anyone notice how red my mustache is? Maybe you can't tell in the camera light, but it looks pretty red. I don't know where that comes from. I'm not Irish. Though I am Welsh, so I guess maybe just there. Sorry, I'm supposed to go perpendicular. I'm falling into old habits here, guys. Also, I've never shaved like this blindly. I mean, granted, I do have a little assistance from the camera LCT screen, but it's definitely not as high def as an actual mirror in your eyes. I'm hoping this will turn out as good as I think it looks on a small, small screen. All right, sick. And bam. Well, I think actually my mustache is a little uneven, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But that's small. The rest of it's fine. I look really gross. But, you know, it's quarantine. You gotta keep it live. You gotta keep it active. You gotta keep it fresh. I'm sure the uh, significant other is gonna be thrilled. I mean, I'm thrilled. You gotta stand in solidarity with your bros that are also doing um, quarantine stashes, right? Because if you can't stand with them, who can you stand with in times like these? All right, guys, well, that's uh, how I shave. And thanks to uh, Ethos for giving me this sick Triumph and Disaster facial cleanser. Stay tuned also for a skincare video. We go through basically the entire line of the Triumph and Disaster stuff and how to take care of your skin a little bit better, especially while you're in quarantine. So uh, make sure you go check that out. It's a lot of fun. It's very informational. I'm great in it. You'll, you might laugh like once or twice. But yeah, thanks for joining me. And welcome to my private space in my bathroom. I bet you never thought you'd be in here with me, would you? Ugh. I didn't even say that right. Mostly because halfway when it got out, I was like, this is the creepiest thing that I may have ever said on camera. So, congratulations? I guess? Wash your hands, stay safe. <laughs>